Hey, this is Lula, and this is the series where we look at the most expensive house for sale in each state. We are in the great state of Illinois, and if you couldn't discern it from my accent, uh, I know a few things about the state of Illinois. Uh, we are in the, uh, the Gold Coast for this house, which is a neighborhood in Chicago that is just ungodly uh, wealthy filled with uh, Cubs fans and trust fund babies and, and Mac users. That, that is the, the full picture of uh, uh, the cold coast that I have, or the, I mean, the entire north side of Chicago. This is an 18,750,000 six bedroom, 13 bath, 20,000 square foot, which is just, that is just nuts for uh, the city. 20,000 square feet. I believe my, uh, my last apartment there was, uh, 800 or something like that. We got some nice stonework outside. Uh, actually surprised at how right up on the street this is, uh, in nice neighborhoods. Usually what you'll see is there'll be like a little fence up around and then a little gated front yard area. Uh, but they're really just going into it, and yet they've still felt the need to gate their bushes. Cool. All right, here's another view of it. Uh, here we can see kind of a gated yard area, probably, and we got a, a stone wall all around, keep the riffraff out. And all right, here's the front door. We got a double door going up. And this is, uh, it's sort of an abbreviated grand foyer. Um, you could tell they didn't quite have room for the, the whole grand foyer. This is going to be kind of a compressed mansion, I guess. Uh, but they did find a space for the foyer table with shit upon it and the chandelier above. And then we've got uh, just a single wrapping grand staircase here. Uh, this little, I assume that's a, a closet of some sort that goes through there. And it looks like we've got a sitting room with a grand piano over here. So far, uh, white marble and gold details and opulence, it's disgusting. It's everything I would expect from this house. All right, here's another view. We got a nice long hallway and another view on this room. We could see that they've got a, a good grate on this door here because, you know, you're in the, the Gold Coast. It's a real dangerous neighborhood. I do, I love the shot up the staircase. I'm never gonna disparage that. And you can see there is a skylight up there, cast a natural light down. That's, um, it's a good view, it is. Also, how tall is this place? All right, we got uh, more white. We got some nice wood floors. This is a weird little seating area. Um, very mismatched. I, I've come to expect that compulsive symmetry uh, in furniture from, from rich people houses. And yet we've got a, one sitting chair and then one just like a dining chair that's floating out here. I don't know what the hell this little thing is. Uh, here's that grand piano. Oh, and of course we've fallen into the classic trap. There is too much floor space. It was an awkward space. And so we have two different sitting areas in the same space. Um, the fact that there's no rug under this one. I know I make fun when they put, like, they've got two sitting rooms and they're, like, divided on their little rug islands. Um, it almost looks more weird when you don't have it there. We got some, uh, some modern tax evasion art over here, of course. And, oh, it looks like this is matching, matching art, maybe? And, oh, more? That's, that's actually kind of cool. I, I always like when they pop out like that. Um... Oh, that's, that's a third sitting area. I just realized because that's that chair and this is that little bench. So this is a third sitting area in the same room. This is not, it's like there's too much floor space, but also it's not that big a room. I don't know that you needed three whole sitting areas uh, for it. Also, the, the display pieces on this, I'm not sure, is that a sculpture? Is that just a tray of pieces of wood? I'm not clear on what that is. All right, we got a dining room with the round table and equidistant chairs. Um, all right, I guess. You got a little bar cart over here. Very white. 
you got the the pop of color with the modern art there i guess that's the show piece and everything's white to make you focus on that but it's it's still a little stark for my taste and oh i assume this is a portrait of whatever rich guy owns this house um love that this is that we've we've seen a bit of uh leopard print in these houses he's shaken things up and now we've got tiger stripes on um, mismatched we got the mismatched with the the chairs it's kind of funky like the the upholstery on this chair doesn't even match itself and none of these like they vaguely match each other interesting i i think i like that better than everything being matchy matchy but it's still a little chaotic you don't expect it uh we've we've offset the tv away from the fireplace and it's actually kind of hidden in the corner here uh so they've they've escaped that trap all right here's the kitchen got a lot of wood and then this stainless steel island it looks like um it's i feel like nothing in this house quite matches like everything everything is trying to match and it hasn't quite made it like this metal isn't even the same color as this metal here um and i don't see a refrigerator yet let's see if it is uh hiding from us oh no we don't get to see more we just get to see this hallway with these ridiculous egyptian sphinx themed symmetrical chairs that is just I mean, there's certain things that just say I'm wealthy and I want you to know that I'm wealthy. And I, I, the gold sphinx chairs in the marble hallway. Give me a break. All right, we're back in the kitchen. This hasn't really given us much new information other than I could, you know, this is a double stove oven thing. And there's additional ovens. Okay, so usually when you see the stacked ovens, in the cabinets it's because you've just got a stove top with no ovens below it and they're separate but we've got four whole ovens i i think we're gonna host a really big thanksgiving dinner that's that's my suspicion and if we turn around oh i do see the refrigerator over here i'm i'm assuming that's what that is uh, and it's not hidden so they're they're letting us know they eat that's very it's bold um this is so many cabinets. I don't even know what you do with that many cabinets. We've got the sitting area up here so that that sitting area all sounds like kitchen, which is, that's great. You want the whole house to sound like a kitchen. And here's a little dining area. I don't know where this is in proximity to the kitchen, but this looks like uh, maybe a smaller, more casual dining space. And we got Here's where they keep the, the china, apparently. So what the fuck was in the rest of those cabinets? What do you put in all these cabinets? Are they secret hoarders and they just got enough cabinets to get away with it? I don't know. Oh, oh. We've got a giant corn and some radishes. That's an interesting art choice here. I feel like, like that's not quite tax evasion art. That's like someone went out and made that choice. And I'm fascinated to know what kind of person made it. Um, all right, here's another view on that table. You can see there's a skylight above. And it's going through, I think that's a courtyard in there. That's kind of nice. Um, you know, in in the city, you're, you're pretty limited on um, outdoor space. So having a, a spot like that is, is pretty nice. I will say you're gonna have limited sunlight because obviously you've got this really tall building all around you. So it's gonna be like just noon and that's it. But still, it's it's nice to be able to go outside, I suppose. We got some nice ivy and trellises in here. Um, it's all concrete, so it's not gonna be the greenest space, but they've they've done something with it. And you've got doors on three sides, so that opens a lot of the house up to this outdoor space. 
Um, oh, and you know what? Actually, there's no building up here. It looks like maybe the, the brunt of the build, you know, the building height is over here. So I don't know what direction that would be, but you, you might get some more sun that way. Oh my God, there's more produce art. We didn't see it in the last day. There's, we've seen, okay. We've seen giant pears in a house before. I, I'll have to go back and check what it was, but who is making the giant pears? Is that a trend among the wealthy? Are the wealthy collecting gigantic pears? Oh, that's so weird. And then over here we got mushrooms and I think those are carrots. And then I, are those more radishes? I, I don't know what that is, uh, but the, you've got a whole collection, an entire wall produce art that's so bizarre it's a little old-fashioned for what i would expect in a house of this like opulence it do it doesn't quite go with the this bleak marble hallways and all of it. like you've got this that's a tv cabinet that looks maybe built into the wall oh you've got a landline is this have we transported ourselves to the 90s? That's that's the vibe I'm getting here. There's something about this color of wood and the TV cabinet and the the poofy couches and then the landline. It's it's is that a universal remote? Oh, we are we are in the 90s, my friend. We've we've time traveled. Here's another view on the 90s room. And we've got another staircase that goes up that way. Oh, here's the pair. Here's so the, the, the corn and the produce room is down there. And then you come up this stairway and here's the giant pear leading you into the nineties room. All right. We are now in that space over the kitchen. We got, oh God, that's lots of mismatched chuggy knife hand pillows. We got a variety pack here, all chuggy knife handed very diligently. And we're in a bathroom where we've got this. I don't know how I feel about this weird rectangle of identically sized pictures. I guess it's 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 a very deliberate choice, I guess. And maybe with like this grid patterning on in the wallpaper. I don't really know how I feel about it. The the paintings on this sink cabinet are also interesting and I, I don't really it looks like maybe little girls or something this is and you've got this detail up here on the mirror everything here is is very uh, distinctive and i i guess i like that it's not boring it's definitely not boring me and i feel like i've got a lot to look at and it doesn't feel totally mismatched it's just a little busy but i don't know that i hate that all right, we're in some sort of attic room now. We've got a, a work table of some sort. It looks like this might be a desk. Um, giant collection of pictures of, I'm not sure what, and an airplane on this table. I, I have no guesses about what's happening here. And this wall of cabinets, what's in there? What's it, what? Did they have to put in there that they didn't have space for in the downstairs cabinets? Because there were 10,000 cabinets downstairs. What do they have? Here, this space is opened up. Yeah, we've got two desks in the workspace here. And then there's the stairs down to whatever area of the house we're going down to there. It's it's an interesting space. Um, It's not very attractive. In, in that, I mean, it doesn't look opulent in the way that I would expect from a house this expensive. I guess, I mean, just the location and the size of the property in the city is enough to warrant this price tag. But in terms of, of the decor and everything else that's here, um, if, if you had this house in any other place, it would be just kind of like, I, you know. And, oh, oh, this is, st we're still upstairs. There's a little sink here. That's, 
I, I guess that's probably convenient if you, you know, need to wash your hands for something or I don't know what you would be doing there, but I, I guess maybe you're far enough away from the nearest bathroom or sink area that it's it's just more convenient to have that up here. Um, but that's a little strange. Oh, we're, we're in the hallway to the pear. That pear is so fucking weird to me, dude. And this is, I'm guessing, the opposite view from the pear. This is this is how the pear sees the world. Uh, and that looks like that goes to the hallway with those sphinx chairs. This is a long hallway for, yep, there's the sphinx chairs. I'm, I, I was expecting this house to be more, you know, towering in an upright fashion. But that's actually a pretty long hallway for a property in the city. All right, there's that spiral staircase. We've, of course, got orchids and gold frame pictures. Yeah, everything out here is that gold marble uh, over the top opulence, which is, is such a mismatch from how frumpy some of these rooms are. Here's a bedroom. This is our first bedroom, and we've got a big, huge painting over the fireplace. Uh, I still don't know if that's any good for the painting. But overall, the room is, there's nothing remarkable here. It's it's not all one color. I like that there's some color going on. I like that there's some art going on. Um, I don't know that I like the carpet with the fireplace. That's a little unnerving to me. But other than that, it seems fine. And I think that's, yeah, that's still the same room. Got another landline. Who the fuck lives here? And what is, what is this screen? Is that like a security camera or something? I don't know. These vases are quite a lot. All right, I think this is the room that we saw down that hallway before. And we've got a desk and the conference table and a sitting area. I think this is supposed to be someone's office. Um, again, I think having big comfy lounge chairs in the office is a dangerous idea. Uh, we got some bookshelves with hardly any books on them. And I hope that they're putting candy in this container on here. And this is going into a bathroom, I guess. We got a big bathtub here. Oh, yeah, that's they're very proud of this bathtub. Jesus Christ, this is so much i've complained about having the same stonework on the walls and the floors because it makes it boxy they've got it on the ceiling too it's literally a giant stone box how do you not feel like you're in a crypt or a cave or something it looks like one that looks like a shower here i'm not sure what's through there i wonder if they'll show us uh no they're just gonna zoom out all right, okay, here's the shower side. We got bathroom vanity and no, they're not going to show us the other side. Oh, Jesus Christ. This looks like a changing room walk-in closet. I, I see like a like a, a federal agency symbol here. So I assume this is some sort of diplomat or senator's house or something. And they've really gone with the stars and stripes motif in here. That's, that is so much. I don't know that I need my public servants to be that patriotic. Uh, I definitely don't need my public servants to be this wealthy. Fuck off, get out of the government, pay your taxes. Oh, this is just so much. All right, here's the desk area. We got uh, bookshelves with again, not that many books on them. Um, you know, there's, there's some on there, but for a, some sort of public official, I would feel more comfortable with someone who owned more books personally. Uh, this picture frame does not even fit on that wall. Uh, that's a weird choice. You got a, a fireplace. And, and again, I remind you, this is like in the closet. That's such a weird place to have this office. Like, is it a secret office? It's hidden behind the closet or something. I don't know. There's the fireplace and, and yeah, it goes through this. There's there's no, I haven't seen a door on this side. 
So it's the entryway has got to be through the closet. Oh, here's here's the other closet. I assume that was the his and this is the hers. And this is all white. Yeah, I like these little pictures up there. Those are kind of cute. Um, I don't like that someone needs to own this many clothes. They're all sorted by color. And it's like, oh, the, the gray and the blue and the white and the black. Oh, yeah, that's you got all your food groups there. We're in an upstairs hallway. This rug is kind of cool. All right, we're going up the stair again. We got more tax evasion art on the walls as we're going up the stairs. And we're in another bedroom, which has, is that a, what is, is that a vending machine or something? It looks like a vending machine to me personally. Um, got one little sitting chair. And other than this weird thing, oh, they're just not going to show us. They're not going to show us. We're in a very dark bathroom. Uh, but at least the stonework is, is broken up by some bordering, so it's not totally overwhelming. We're in another bedroom, and again, nothing too wild here. Uh, maybe that maybe that piece of furniture in the other room was just an, an armoire like this. It probably was. And another very dark bathroom with black and dark wood. Do you think it's easier to keep a black toilet clean or is it one of those things where it's hard to tell that it needs to be cleaned because it's black i wonder oh this is a kid's room you got the two beds you got stuffed animals and little creatures and things this is kind of a nice space um you know they, they gotta share but the, i'm thinking this is probably like the grandkids room um this is probably some old boomer diplomat billionaire who doesn't need to be in charge of our country and and so this is just here for when his grandkids come to visit um but it, it's at least a nice fun space i like the color i like the art and the and the little toys okay oh we got matching little chairs that's cute and a stuffed animal on the ground all right this you know what this is a nice space for kids i, I like that those chairs are like kid sized this might be the kids bathroom based on this weird i don't know what that is but it looks like some sort of creature um and then we got a big bathtub and shower we got a, another phone on the wall what is with the phones maybe that's maybe that's to do with the whole diplomat you know this is someone who's so important that they need to be reachable by phone at all times if if that's the case I've got a wonderful technology that I could recommend to you that may do the exact same thing. All right, we got another. This is for uh, the grandsons, apparently. We got this strongly, strongly gendered uh, grandkids rooms. Like, I can't tell, does the bedspread exactly match this wallpaper? which doesn't quite match this, which definitely doesn't match this plaid, but everything's kind of in the same color scheme. It's, that seems to be a, a theme in this house is everything that almost matches, but doesn't quite. All right, here's another bathroom and we got these very elaborate curtains around the tub. And here's another attic room um we got another skylight of course we got a billiards table if your mansion doesn't have a billiards table are you really rich uh we got some games lots of entertainment here the woodwork would be way too much in here if it wasn't for this blue paneling the blue paneling is a little strange i wonder if maybe it absorbs the sound or something um but it also does break up the the monotony of the woodwork Again, the furniture is very frumpy for a house this expensive. Um, the, the plaid is, is not what I would expect from a house like this. Oh, there's a cash register here? That's interesting. And the, the pool setup looks to be very uh, elaborate. They're very committed to that. All right, we got another bathroom with very dark stonework and a black toilet, but it's not that dark because we got the woodwork here. I assume that's the shower through there and you just can't see very well because of the reflection, uh, but that looks like a big shower. 
oh, we've got a home movie theater. Of course, we've got the home movie theater. And again, they've made the weird choice of white walls, which makes it almost impossible to make the space dark. Uh, but you've got a little bar area over here for refreshments. Three tiers. Three tiers and a chuggy knife hand pillow on every seat. As, as God intended. All right, this is, what is this room? This is like a secret cult room. This is where they're planning world domination. This is where they're they're plotting to to murder all the peasants or something. We got crests here. I don't I don't know what that crest means, but I don't trust it. Um I I feel super villain in this chilies tonight and I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. The stonework on the walls is very ominous. The columns are ominous. This weird medieval candelabra thing, ominous. This is like Frankenstein's mansion. Mm, I don't like any of this. This is still in the creepy basement. Uh, this looks like maybe, oh, that's a wine. That's a wine cellar in there, I assume. Um, of course, you got to have some, some wine to go with your evil supervillain meetings. Yep, and we've got a well-stocked wine cellar uh, with labels and boxes and shit. These people have an ungodly amount of money and work in the public sector. That's not correct. Our, that's not correct at all. And more wine. God. All right, here's the workout room. We looks like we've got a variety of machines, adjustable weights. Here's another bathroom with another landline. We've got a shower big enough that we need two shower heads, so it looks like we're inviting the whole football team in here. And we got a laundry room with double washer dryers, and everything is bright, bright white. That is blinding. It looks like we've got a dishwasher over here, too. I don't know what that's about. Maybe it's a backup dishwasher for when you've got a vent so big that you overflowed the first one, but then you got to carry them all the way downstairs to the basement. Or maybe when you have basement events, you've got some place to wash the dishes. Oh, we've got another, we've got a whole closet for China. We had a China cabinet upstairs full of China. And then we had walls and walls and walls of cabinets. How much fucking China do they have? How much do you actually need? How much do you use at one time? I am just baffled by why anyone would need this much. And here's the garage. Uh, having a garage in the city is very nice and luxurious. And there's the front doors. Oh, here we got a nice little stone patio with a wall so that the riffraff can't look in on you. Uh, some seating areas. Yep, there we go. Yep. Not getting any new information from these. Oh, that looks supremely uncomfortable. And... Oh, oh, we got floor plans. We got floor plans. All right, let's take a look. So we've got... Uh, it looks like, oh, here's the front entrance, and that goes into the foyer, where there's the spiral staircase. We had the big living room off to the side. Uh, a library. I don't remember seeing a room with enough books to call it a library. Uh, the courtyard. Oh, so the courtyard is open on the back side. That makes sense. Uh, that kitchen, which is open to what they're calling the family room. It didn't look like a family room to me. There's a lot of stairs. There's a lot of up and down. This is this is not the place to live if you're not good with stairs. I will tell you that. Here we got the second floor. It looks like we've got uh, the spiral stairs or these alternate stairs. I assume those are like servant stairs or something. But they're literally, they're right next to each other. What is the point? They open up onto the same hallway. What's the point of having two sets of stairs? Uh, a master gallery? What the shit is a gallery? Uh, sitting room? Okay, so this is all one part of a, a master suite. And yeah, you do, you have to go through the dressing room to the office. There's a terrace there, but the only way to 
access that office is through the dressing room. Oh, there's two stairs and an elevator. Look at that. Staircase, staircase, elevator. What the fuck? Here's the third level. And we've just got some of those extra bedrooms. Those were all the bedrooms that were just like, okay. We again have two sets of stairs uh, for some reason. And this is the attic level is what it's calling itself. Uh, and that was where we had the billiards table. Finally, we've got the basement. We've got the staff living room kitchen. That's what that was. Jesus Christ, it's a staff. They've got staff living quarters. Of course they do because this is actual like aristocracy fucking wealth here that's disgusting to me um, and those are the servants stairs over there if you were curious that's the whole point of those is so that the servants can be neither seen nor heard uh we've got the wine cellar is what they were calling the super villain room uh, and the storage was over here so i guess you invite people to sit around your super villain table for wine tastings and that's how you do it that laundry room is, of course, down here with the servants. And and yes, I believe uh, the idea is that the servants have to take dishes downstairs to wash them because you have the kitchen open to the rest of the house upstairs. So when you run the dishwasher, you can hear it everywhere. You have a spa in here. And the exercise room and theater are also in the basement, but importantly, they are, are kind of on the opposite side of the basement. This is this is like the basement for actual people that get treated like human beings, and then this is the basement for servants. And if you're wondering why there's a mechanical room here and there's one in the attic as well, it's because houses like this are so huge and they take up so much uh, electricity and they have so many appliances that you need dedicated rooms like this just to keep the whole place operating. And a lot of times those mechanical rooms also have uh, very elaborate water filters because, you know, God forbid they drink the same water as the rest of us schmucks. This, it looks like there is even a sub-basement level with extra mechanical equipment generator. Uh, AV storage? What the shit is that? Is that where they're keeping their DVDs? I mean, I assume it's like security cameras and shit like that, but I don't like that. I don't like that, my dudes. All right, and that is this house. And this is, this is what's wrong with our country is that the people who are in public servant positions have this kind of money. I know this house may not seem huge like the opulence in some areas and the frumpiness in others is is definitely strange but you can tell that this is just an atrocious amount of money for a person to have and these are the people that are running our country this is why they're making decisions that don't fucking help anyone except the richest because the richest are the ones that are running things um yeah guillotines my dude Time to bust out the guillotines. Anyway, for the state of Illinois, I guess this, you know what? This is exactly what I would expect is some rich douchebag on the north side of Chicago to have the, the most expensive house in the state. That completely tracks. Uh, if you are also from Illinois, if you are also disgusted with this, uh, if you have any fun guillotine designs, feel free to leave a comment like, subscribe, whatever you want to do. And other than that, have a good one.